Hello everyone and welcome back again. So we started the Salesforce Agent Force series. In that in the first video we have seen introduction to Agent Force in Salesforce. The video link I have given in description box you can go through it. So that you will be understand what we are going to do in the create Agent Force for service in the Salesforce. So let me navigate to Salesforce org. Now in the introduction to Agent Force video we have seen how we can enable the Agent Force in Salesforce. So for that first we need to enable the Einstein Copilot for that here I am searching for the Einstein setup. So here we already enabled the Einstein then we need to search for the agents. Here you can see agent force agents as I open this then we enabled the agent force. Now when we enable the agent force as I scroll down here you can see here we have agent name type description in that agent name. So as I navigate here, here you can see agent force default and type of this agent is employee. That means this agent only can use the internal Salesforce employees. So as I open any application, let me open this sales application. Now here you can see as I click on this agent force icon, then here you can search or give the prompt to whatever you want to search in the Salesforce organization. And only Salesforce employees can use this agent. Now in this video we are going to learn about how to create agent force for service in Salesforce. In that first we will see what is agent force for service then we will understand the difference between employee and the service agent and then I will explain how to enable the agent force for service in Salesforce. So for that so for that don't skip the video. So for that watch the till end and don't miss any step. After that you can also enable to create the agent force for service in Salesforce and if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever you post any new video you will get an update. Now before moving ahead here is very big announcement for the Salesforce geekers. We recently launched a Salesforce admin training course in that we explain every concept in a simple and easy to understand way so you can learn step by step with the confidence. So this course is for beginner to the advanced level in that we have covered 10 modules you will get lifetime access. So here you can see here we have covered 10 modules introduction to Salesforce, Salesforce navigation and setup after that Salesforce user management then we also have covered Salesforce apps object and tabs after that the Salesforce fields and formulas UI customization in Salesforce after that Salesforce reports and dashboards Salesforce data management and Salesforce flows. So in this course we have covered everything from beginner to the advanced level. So if you are serious about launching your Salesforce career check out the course now we have provided the link in the description box you can go through it. Now let's jump to the topic. Now first let's understand what is agent force for service in Salesforce. For that let me navigate to the Salesforce org. Now we only have the agent force which is default agent in Salesforce enabled. That means this is the employee type of agent which can use only Salesforce internal users. Now what is the service agent in Salesforce? Now the service agent that we are going to create. So this agent is a type of service agent and it can be deployed on the community side and it can be deployed on the community side and it helps to provide the answers asked by the customers. Then it performs various jobs for the end users without needing a service agent. And additionally it can work 24 hours a day on the website and handle the multiple queries. So for the service agent let me open the Salesforce help. Now as you can see as I open the service help so here you can see here we have support expert that means this is the service agent in Salesforce. For example if I have any query that means as a customer if I have any query then I can ask to this agent which is service agent and this agent will provide the answer as per the actions or the permissions it has given. So this is the external website that means this agent used by the external customers or external users. Now let me navigate to the Salesforce org. So here as I scroll up here we have a button which is new agent. Now as I click on this new agent button. Now here we have two options agent for setup and then agent for service agent. So here we are going to create the agent force for service in Salesforce for that here I am selecting this one and then click on next. So in the left hand side here you can see the steps. So here we completed the first step which is select an agent. So here we have selected agent force for service. 
then here you can see here we have select your topics so here what is the topics actions and instructions so all of these building blocks i will cover in the upcoming videos so for that stay with us and subscribe our channel so that whenever we post a new video you will get an update so here now we select the topics initially here you can see salesforce already created some topics like case management account management reservation management delivery issues now if you don't want this topic then you can simply click on this added button and this will get deselect and if you want to add this topic to your agent you can simply click on this add button again now as i scroll down here you can see for the reservation management here we can see see include actions that means as i click on this see include actions button so here we have some actions so let me tell you quickly what is topics actions and instructions so the first is so for example you are creating a new agent for the account management so here you can see here we have account management now when you deploy the agent to the salesforce org or the external site then whenever you provide any prompt to that agent then if that prompt is not related to the account then whatever the actions we will add in the account management then the agent will not search the given prompt in the account management topic so for that the topics are the base of the building block of agent force in salesforce then for example here you can see reservation management so if any user gives the prompt that you want to get the reservation time slots then the agent will not check that prompt in the account management instead of that it has the reservation management topic so it will check the given prompt in the reservation management topic so i hope you understood the importance of topics so the topics makes the easy to find the prompt or the action in the agent force based on the label of the topic now inside of the topic so here we have reservation management then here we have different different action so here if the user get prompt finalize the reservation then the agent execute this action so the working behind the scenes of an agent is because of the actions the actions are actually perform the task like creating a draft folder booking an appointment fetching some account details or etc so these actions we can create using apex flows prompt template or external services so for the topics actions and the instructions i will cover in the next video so for now i am keeping all the topics for this agent and then simply click on next button now here you can see here we need to provide name api name description role then company and then agent user so here we have completed the second step now in the third step we need to customize our agent so for that first we need to provide the name and the api name so in the name we need to provide the label for our agent so in the name you can provide the name as per your requirement so here i am keeping as a same which is agent for service agent then the api name will be automatically populate as per the name or the label that you provided then here you can define what this agent is all about that means here you can define will it be deployed on the customer side or the portal side so here we want to deploy this agent on the external side that means customer side so that thing here you can describe in the role we can define the role of the agent for what purpose we are creating the agent so here we are creating this agent force for service for the service agents that means here you can see they already provided the role an ai customer service agent whose job is to help the customers with the support questions or other issues so if you want to so if you want to add something here you can add it then here you can see here we have company now here you can see the example your company specializes in providing customer relationship management software and the applications its solutions include sales center and the service center and also it helps businesses manage customer interaction and streamline so what does your company do that you can specify over here then here you can see here we have agent user so here as we click on this agent user option now here we can see that the available users in the salesforce org now here we must need to select the einstein agent user so that user should have the license einstein agent user or if you select the another user in the next step you will get an error so here i am selecting the current user because i want to show you in the next step what we will get an error and then simply click on next button so here we have the error we need to provide the company details so here i am providing this is crm company so here i have provided any random details you can provide as per your requirement 
and then click on next. Now in the data library, it has selected the default library. So the data library is also important topic. For that in the upcoming videos, I will be detail explain what is data library in Salesforce. So for now in the data library, let it be the default and then click on create. Now here you can see we got the error which is user doesn't match. And why this error occurred? Because of the in the previous step, we selected the wrong user for the agent force. So here, let me click on this back button. So as I scroll down again here, again, let me remove this user. And here I'm going to select Einstein service agent user and then click on next and then click on create. Now here you can see agent for service agent has been successfully created. Now in the topics here you can see here we have account management. So for that let me check is the service agent gives me reply when I give the prompt to the account related information. So here I want to ask how many account records we have in the account. So as I press the enter key, so it's analyzing the request. So if this agent don't have that action, then it will provide this type of message. So till now, we only created the agent force for service in Salesforce. Now in the upcoming videos, I will be explain how we can create the topics and create custom actions and the instruction and those topics, actions and instructions we will provide to this agent and after that we will see how this agent will reply us related to the provided actions. Now let's activate this agent force service agent for that here you can see here we have activate button click on it. Now let's navigate to the agents click on leave button and in the agent force agent as I scroll down here you can see agent force service agent has been successfully created and here you can see the type of agent is service agent. So in this way we can create the agent force for service in Salesforce. I hope you understood what is agent force for service the difference between employee and the service agent and then how to enable or the active agent force for service in Salesforce. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. So whenever you post a new video, you will get an update. Thank you.